What is up people YouTube, it is I, Super Mario Zola, or you can call me Vinny, and today we're going to take a look at the amazing Yamaguchi Revoltek Carnage. Carnage was a man named Cletus Cassidy. Cassidy is a maniac who went as far to kill his own grandmother and laughed about it. Cletus also killed a girl because she would not go on a date with him. Cassidy eventually got put in Ravencroft when he became an adult and shared a cell with Eddie Brock. The Venom suit came back to get Eddie Brock and broke him out of Ravencroft. The symbiote reproduced and gave birth to the Carnage symbiote and bonded with Cassidy and became Carnage. Carnage is more powerful than Spider-Man and Venom combined and did defeat them in battle once. Collectors went nuts when this figure was first revealed, and now one of Spider-Man's most deadliest foes gets the Revoltech treatment. Was the wait worth it? Let's get started. This is by far the best sculpted comic Revoltech figure so far. The sculpt is stylized, but the sculptor did an amazing job with the carnage. The head sculpt is a menacing sculpt. The teeth are sharply sculpted. The eyes are sculpted, and they do help the intense look that he has. The mouth is constantly open and makes carnage that much more creepy. The back of the head has tendrils sticking out and makes him look that much more threatening. The main colors of Carnage is red and black, and the paint is clean all over. The body has a bit of a glossy finish to replicate that wet symbiote look. The sculpt has a lot of indents and cuts throughout all of it to replicate that symbiote muscular look. The arms continue to sculpt, and even with all these stretch marks and indents, you can still see the muscles are well defined. The claws and her hands have a vein and sharp-like sculpt. The legs continue the veiny, stretchy, symbiotic sculpt, and one thing I like to point out is that the black paint is very nice and makes Carnage pop so much on the shelf. You take one glance and you can tell this is Carnage. I am aware that not all the paint is perfect and there is some black not well painted in some places, but the rest of the paint job and the sculpt helps hide these issues, at least in my opinion. On the lower leg areas, there is tendrils sticking out of them also. The feet have the symbiote shoe look and don't have toes like Venom. Carnage's sculpt and paint is excellent. Despite the stylized look, you can still recognize that this is Carnage. You may think Carnage would be hard to pose because of all the detail he has, but actually no, he's still quite poseable and does have the usual articulation like the other Revoltex. So, let's check it out. The top head is on a ball hinge, well, swivel hinge. He can look up this high and look up about this far down. But with the neck joint, it's on a ball joint, so he can look this far down and this far up. Now the jaw does have some slight articulation, but it's because this part right here is a, a separate piece, actually, as you can see here. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the, the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> yeah. Arms are on a double ball hinge, well, double swivel hinge, excuse me. And it's also easy to pop off. Shoulder joints are still ugly, but you know, they do that for the extra articulation, so I'm not going to complain too much. Good range. Ball joint down here, and it's still a swivel hinge. Move Moves way more than that than 90 degrees, and also acts as the bicep swivel. We have a swivel hinge with the hands. We have these little ball joint swivels right here, so, so I could bring the arms down even more forward, so that's pretty nice. The waist joints are actually smooth joints instead of ratcheting joints, but you can still crunch forward extremely far, which is really good. Crunching back, however, now he doesn't crunch back as well as the other Revoltex. Whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing, that's up to you. This crotch piece is a floating piece. The legs are on ball joints. He could kick about this far forward. Comes off at a slight angle. Actually, is that an angle? You know what I like. No, no, it's not. <laughs> can kick back about this far. He can also not do the splits. Now, unless if you play with the joints and the thigh swivel a certain way. Because like the others, the thigh swivel does come off at an angle. Knees, they're, they are swivel hinges. And we do have the kneecap right here to block any gaps. That's always a plus. Uh, the boot joints right here, they're, they're on ball joints. Swivel hinges for the ankles. This is far back. This far forward. We also do get the ankle rocker. 
And we also get toe joints on on both toes. So carnage is plenty po um, posable and you will and if you're creative, you are really not going to have too much uh, trouble with any of the figures at, at all. Especially with the Revolt X, because they are quite e easy to pose once you, you get the hang of them. And you can get some pretty... Let me just do this. You can get some pretty... If Carnage will stand. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That toll, that toll joint is not being uh, friendly. Well, well, I mean, whatever. You, you get the idea. You can get some cool poses like this. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Carnage stands a bit over 6 inches tall. Here are the comparisons. Here he is with the Marvel Legends Gwenpool and Prowler. Here he is with the Marvel Legends Spider-Punk and Songbird. Here he is with the Revoltech Captain America and Deadpool. Here he is with the Revoltech Wolverine and Magneto. And finally, here he is with the Revoltech Spider-Man and Venom. Carnage sizes well with the other Revoltech figures. But with other brands, he is going to stand out because of the aesthetics, obviously. But you shouldn't have too much trouble displaying him. Carnage comes with a lot of accessories. You literally can't complain and say he doesn't come with enough accessories. And for you guys and gals, I'll go over all of these. And I'm going to handle things a bit differently here with the accessories, so bear with me. He comes with four large tendrils, four medium tendrils, and four small tendrils. Two tendrils with ball hinges that can connect to the other accessories, and two spiky tendrils. You can use the plain tendrils as a tendril that Carnage can swing on, and they're easy to connect. Two hook-like weapons, two sword-like weapons, two axe-like weapons, two sword-like uh, weapons, and two combiner pieces for any of the tendrils of weapons. And each combiner piece has four peg holes. Here are a couple of examples of what you could do with these. It's up to your imagination for what you want to do. Carnage has peg holes all over his body. Two on his front, six peg holes on his back, two peg holes on his elbows, two peg holes on his shoulders, two on his back legs, and two on the back of his feet. Any tendril with pegs and ball hinges can fit in any of these holes. Here's just one example. You can also interchange these weapons with the hands. Speaking of hands, he comes with two fist hands with two peg holes for the tendrils and weapons, two open hands with peg holes on the middle of them, and two stylized posed hands. We get three sets of interchangeable eyes, two neutral eyes we already saw, two angry pissed off eyes, and a pair of eyes to make him look confused or hurt physically. He does come with a tool to interchange the eyes. Push up the pegs and use your fingernail to get the eyes out of there. He comes with a second tool to help you remove the ball hinges from the wrists or anywhere else where they are stuck. Use this with caution so you won't break the ball hinges or the tool itself because it's actually pretty easy to stress the plastic. We get a plethora of accessories. Kyoto gave us a treat with this carnage. And if you have a lot of creativity, you could create the ultimate carnage display. So if you're looking forward to these accessories, you will not be disappointed. So, buy, don't buy, or wait for a sale. Carnage is a great figure, and I believe he can even please the Carnage fans. The high-end posability along with the plethora of accessories is a good combo for a Carnage figure. Obviously, if you don't like the sacrifice sculpt for the articulation, this figure is not for you. But for those who love posing, displaying, or taking pictures of your figures, you'll enjoy this figure a lot. Definitely well worth the price. So if you're thinking about getting this, I recommend you make up your mind soon, because there's a chance this figure could sell out because of how popular the character is. I'll give the figure a 9 out of 10. Well, that's it. Thanks guys and gals so much for watching. If you liked this video, hit that like button. If you would like to be updated on when new videos goes up, be sure to subscribe. If you want to be notified when new videos go live, be sure to hit that bell icon. And if you want some behind the scenes stuff, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Link to it is down below. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.